Uh, what's going on, Doom Squad? It's Logan here. We're back again with another video. Now, today I'm sitting down on my chair because today we're going to be doing a new series, another new series. And if you guys don't know what the series is, it is uh, what you can see by the title of the video. Uh, we're doing editing breakdowns of music videos because since I took it, a video course or a film course last year i've been i've been doing youtube for quite some time as well so i know quite a lot of stuff but last year at my film course i learned quite a bit about like editing um transitions and all like just everything like that and i felt like i should do something like that so people can get like an eye on how much effort well how much more effort gets put into the music videos that um k-pop idols re release well basically like the companies release but i am going to be going through idols new song hun and we're going to be going through a breakdown of that we're not just going to be reacting to it we're going to be watching it and when i see something we're going to pause it we're going to look for it and i'll tell you guys what it is and all that stuff i just feel like it's going to be something fun okay like something a bit fun a bit different uh so yeah let's just do this okay so before even going on you can tell that there is a blur effect around uh soyeon um the they probably use a camera blur and then did a mask and like did a mask that goes around like a oval shape around here uh because you can't really get that from a, a lens you can't get a lens that uh does that type of uh focusing uh so yeah anyways so let's get into this let's click on that beautiful as always just a jump cut Another jump cut. Oh. Oh. I still love this song. Okay, so back there. You guys couldn't tell. Okay, I didn't even go back far enough. Right there. I did a zoom out. Zoom out effect. And I love these. Uh, it's like, it's basically you're doing a transform on the clip. So when you do that, it just, like, you can make it zoom out. And it's, like, got, like, kind of a warp type of um, feeling to it. And then there was probably, if I can pause it right, there was probably a blur on it. Or it was just bass. Okay. 0 0.25. Now, this is just freaky. Okay. So... From what we saw, from that, it was just a it was just a zoom out. There was no blur, nothing like that. It was just a zoom out from um, Soyeon, and then so she was like in the middle of the frame, and then they zoomed it out so she was still in the center of the next frame for the next section for the music video. So yeah, that's uh, definitely fake blood. They wouldn't have her with real blood if you if you can tell. I guess I'm not too sure. Some people would think that's real blood. But uh, it's fake. But oh wow, those are nice nails. <laughs> and uh, this is a focus from a camera. And you can tell because it's like uh, the. Oh, let me get rid of that. Um, like you can tell because of the edges, the edges of her hand. And it's like very, very, very well done. So it's like from a camera with the focus on it. Uh, so yeah, that it's a nice wee focus touch right there. Ah, uh, she looks so beautiful here, eh, Minnie? Now, oh, if we go back. So, there's definitely some lens flares there. They uh, definitely have a, a purple kind of screen over it uh, as well, just so it gives off that vibe. Um, but, yeah, that's a lens flare, uh, if you couldn't tell. They probably made that in After Effects, the lens flare. Uh, there's, a few, there's a few edits in this music video, which I freaking love, um, but they're later on. But, yeah. Um, as you can tell here, there's a lens flare, um, and it's, uh, the, the reflections of her nails is probably just the original light, but, uh, the rest of that is just... If you couldn't tell, in this section here, there was a lot of blurring in and blurring out on, uh, Shuha. Just look at that set, man. Oh, no, I, I... I like, legit, look at that set. That set is so good. So good. Ah. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, this is what I love. Like, there's fade-ins, fade-outs, there's maskings. There's so much stuff in this section um, with Uki. Like, legit. Just like, we'll, we'll slow it down a bit. We'll slow it down a bit so we can um, see the... We, we, we won't go 0 0.25 because that shit was scary before. But yeah, if we go down to 0 0.75. 
So, like, there's Faden's, there's also um, masking. Like, so she she's there. She, she's actually there. That's where she's standing, but then they masked it out with the mirror. And then, bam, she's there. And then just like simple mirror, that's, that's just a simple mirror effect that you could do in Premiere Pro. And then she was masked behind a wall here, which is uh, really well done. It's uh, a nice simple one and you can tell that there's a bit of feathering on the mask uh, behind the wall or on the wall because you can still see her eye and stuff back there. Like this is a beautiful set and oh. like yeah there are mirrors. But also you can tell when it's edited with the reflections. Um, it's real nice. Okay, let's go back to the normal because, uh, yeah. <laughs> there, there's not that much stuff for this uh, few seconds. Ah, oh, I love that. Now, the smoke here. It could either be it was done on set or they just added in a little bit of a smoke screen. Um, and then uh, I lowered the opacity on it for uh, Premiere Pro or After Effects or whatever software they use for editing. Um, but it's a, it's a nice, nice wee. Wee! You can just download them on YouTube. Um, cloud glasses. Cloud glasses? Oh, she's so beautiful, man. They're all so beautiful. I love stuff like this. So before, it was like, ah, I love that. So like with the movement, they just like did the same. They did a cut with her movement, so it zooms out, and it just looks so nice. I've always liked that stuff, and it's also within the beat. So when um, Soyeon does that, it just looks nice. And like the cuts between clips just go so smoothly in this in this music video. It's because it's because the way that they're cutting it, if, if well, there was quite a few cuts here, it's like so you base you guys focus on people's eyes when you watch a video, right? Do like do you focus on their eyes or mouth, whatever you focus on? Because for me, I focus on people's eyes um, when I watch a music video, and um, th th this is what most people do. So when there's a cut. For something, the focus point that you want to focus on, you got to like kind of make it so that when the there's a cut, the person's eyes that are focused on that one part. So right now we're all focused on Uki right here. Um, probably with the next cut, there will be something right here that we'll be focusing on. Um, see, see, she was like just like in the center. She was in the center for the next shot, but then you look up at her eyes here to see her expression, and then the next shot. Her whole face is up there where her eyes were. So it just like goes through smoothly. And like her eyes are still on the same level from that shot. But at a closer distance for this shot. If we just like go here. So it's like it's like on the same level. So you can quickly just like go to the next spot. Which is real nice. Like I just love stuff like that. I try and do that with my videos. I try and make it so when I do a cut. That it's like a nice clean cut. So you can go to the next part. Um, and uh, when, when is it that we get to the part that I really like? It's just a nice simple masking. Anyway, so let's just continue watching this. See what happens next. Nice, nice smoke. And see, they use the smoke for... So you're like focusing here. You're like, you're legit. You're focusing in the center. You don't know where to look. So your eyes will just go to the center for this. And then bam. Bam. Was there a mask there? I'm not too sure. Let's slow it down. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a masking with the smoke um, speed 0.25. No, so it was just a cut. But since there's still smoke there, um, it still looks like it is a clean cut. And since you're focusing on the center of the smoke, we go back to Uki's eyes. But then there is the smoke that kind of goes over them, which makes her eyes look more just like more like you want to focus on the eyes more see i like that i like that if you couldn't tell it wasn't a mask but what they did was they used the walls they used the walls oh no the pillars they used the pillars so like when that pillar oh, i want to try i gotta go back to slow-mo god damn it man we'll go 0 0.5 for this oh god damn it 
So like you start focusing on this because it's going past Uki. So you focus on that and then the next second when you're focusing on it, like she's gone right now and then bam, Mian appears. Exactly where your eyes should be. And like, that's what I like. It's just a nice, it's like, it's just a nice eye tracker um, that I really like. Um, it's just, ah, oh, it's so nice. So nice. See, see, it happened again. Just the clean cuts. So the clean cuts. So we're focusing here and then she's there. And then she's there again. And then, and then they want you to focus on the scorpion in the jar for this shot here instead of Uki because Uki is um, blurred out a bit and they're trying to get you to focus on that scorpion. So like those clean cuts for like just from from here on with me on because oh that was actually a nice nice thing. So you're like you're focusing on the eye there, and then we go on to Uki's other eye, which is quite nice. But then, see, you're focusing there, focusing there, and then you're focusing here. It's like it's like in the same spot. And then with the next shot, with she's back to here, and then bam, we're looking at the scorpion again. Like that. It's just nice, simple stuff like that that I like. Are you guys liking this video series? I'm not too sure. But anyways, let's continue going on with this. Oh, see, that is what we like. Oh, there was even a cut um, behind Soyeon. Look. See, it's like all black, and then it goes to... Oh, you saw it flicker. It flickers. It flickers with her eyes. But that is cool. Okay, so me being the dumbass that I am, I didn't really explain this. I just said, well, wow, that's so cool. So what actually it is, is that um, you can just like add... A, it's just like a clip of Soyeon, and then they um, resized it so it's small, and they masked it. They masked... Um, the clip so it like fits in with um I forgot whose eyes that is. But it fits into whoever's eyes that is and um then they make it so it like looks like it's uh, reflecting and all that stuff because of the lighting that they use. They, they probably did this in um Adobe um After Effects and then uh yeah, so they that's that's all that they did for the eye reflection shot. And yet again when you guys look at this eye here, you're focusing on Soyeon, and then what do you see next right here? You see Soyeon. You see Soyeon like, legit right there when it first happens, and then you track with her to go to here, with the camera movement. And now I'm assuming that this camera movement here, where it goes like that, was done in Premiere Pro or the editing software that they use. They just did a zoom in and then did a rotation at the same time, and then snap back to the original shot. Um, which was nice. Oh, look at that. This is where it starts happening. We'll just have a look at this. Bam, 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 bam. Those are all masking transitions, which I love. So if you guys don't know what a masking transition is, it's when, let's say, okay, so what they do for the masking transitions is that for the shot, there's just a pole. There's just a pole at the end of the shot and then they just go past it and then at the end of the pole they'll just transition the next clip in behind the pole so they'll like mask it out if that makes sense. So it's like it's like you're cutting something out with scissors. That's basically how you think of it, okay? So you cut something out with scissors and then you you just want to make it so that the transition is just nice and slick. And when they do it so fast here, um, it's just so nice. It's just so nice. Now this... This here, we all love this shot, right? We all love this shot here. So this is probably done in After Effects, obviously done in After Effects with the hologram. Uh, there, uh, I, I don't know how to make that, but I guess if I watch a tutorial, I could potentially easily make a hologram. You'll just have to be in front of a green screen, get lighting right, and then it'll just all come down to the, the editing with the lights, the lighting, and then getting the flicker effect on, which uh, isn't that shitty. A flicker effect ain't that hard. Um, but yeah, like you can make it... Actually, you know, yeah, I could probably make the a hologram. But um, yeah... It's, it's just a nice, nice simple thing done in After Effects, which just looks so clean. Like, this legit just, just looks so clean. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, look at her eyes, man. I mean, uh, it's, I mean it's just her eyes are beautiful. <laughs> now with that here, 
this transition right here. Now, they could potentially, this could potentially be a mask. They could have done this shot just in case something went wrong or something like that. Um, and there could be a mask on here. There could not be, I'm not too sure. It could just be part of the shot where they go past the pole. But they, the, it could be a mask so that it can go to the, another clip so that it flows better or something. I'm not too sure. But uh, when I saw this, I did think about that. But it's probably all just one shot, this, no masking. But if it, they could use this for a masking, if there was another shot that was better after it went past the pole, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, yeah. And then after that, we're focusing on this, which is so nice. I love that so much. It's just such an easy thing to do. You just get a square and then you just cut it in nice and like nice and tidy and then you just zoom in you can zoom in you got to use the transform um effect to be able to zoom through it it's just like um bts uh idols video where jimin's mouth opens it's the exact same thing um but instead of just jimin's mouth multiple times it's uh with that suitcase with the girls and like in different shots and then it gets to this clip here which you can see like i uh, can you see it at the end I want to see. Yeah, you can see it at the end. You can see the clip at the end. So it's just nice and smooth. Do, 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 do. So nice. So nice. And I like that. I like if. So it like flashes. Uh, it flashes with them dancing in the background. Did, did you. Oh, wait. Let's, let's slow down. Let's, let's slow down. Speed 0 0.25. See, it flashes with them dancing in the background. I want to try and pause on it. Okay, I can't pause on it. But you can see, like, it's them in the background. And yeah, that's basically all. I like those fast cuts. Yeah, that's basically it. This, this text can easily be done in uh, After Effects. So yeah, that was uh, the editing breakdown for Idol's Han Alone uh, song. What do you guys think about it? Did you guys enjoy this? If you guys did enjoy it, then uh, let me know uh, some other music videos that you'd like me to do this for. I'll do this series like once or twice a week um, because it does take quite some time to uh, edit these video well not really edit it will take it take some time to record these videos so i need to have like the the time space to be able to record them um but yeah um let me know what you guys think what music videos you guys want me to break down next and uh also subscribe you guys are new to the channel because there be more of video editing breakdowns music video k-pop music video editing breakdowns for you guys and uh there's also going to be more of those um series on um career boo where i like read stuff down and like make funny videos of those there will also be the late to the party reactions where i react to videos that i have not reacted to yet so like old ones i can react to some like i i've i've never seen um like girls generation g i've never seen the music video for that but i listened to the song on spotify um so like i can react to that music video and all that stuff so that's what late to the party is and then there's also the reactions for new k-pop uh releases when they come out i react to those and uh yeah other than that uh this is going to be all for this video hope you guys did enjoy and uh yeah other than that oh, i just said it. and yeah other than that so many times but yeah other than that i hope you guys have a great day and just keep on smiling and i see your stuff squad